Yo, what's good? It's Brandon T. Jackson with Underground Radar. You gotta start somewhere, and I'm starting on Underground Radar. Makes me laugh real spit. Or can I? I don't want to swear too much, so I'll just say real, you know what? Real stuff makes me laugh. The reality of, of, of life is funny to me. Kind of a social commentary. That's how I am, you know what I mean? I like to make fun of, put a mirror to ourselves, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of my humor. You know? It's tough though, because you don't want to come off to like you're better or preachy or you know, some sound. So, the truth is tough, you know, tough pill to swallow, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Um, who was the first comedian you ever heard? Oh, first comedian I ever heard was, was, uh, that's the, stand-up or, 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 or acting? Period. See, it's a combination. Uh, first comedian I was very, that had an impression on me was Chris Rock, as far as stand-up. First comedian ever as an actor was Eddie Murphy. That come about? You know, honestly, I'm, I was I was I got a call from a casting director said we casting this. You know what's funny? I auditioned for everything. People think that you just this guy in Hollywood calls you up like, hey, we got this role for you. Like I'm just not there yet. You know what I mean? I'm at the place where I'm still auditioning and against other actors and then people got to look at the thing. So I got a call to get an audition. They was like, yo, we want you to go out for this. Mr. Robinson thing, I said, what's the what's the premise? It's like, Craig Robinson lives in Chicago. I was like, I'm so because I'm from Detroit. That's Midwest. Um, he's a musician. Y'all both play in a band called Nasty Delicious. Uh, a soul a pop van, a, a band. I was like, I'm so. <laughs> so everything it was like, I'm a lead guitarist. I'm so, uh, you know, he's a funny character. So I was like, yeah. the way he's, he, he, he talks, everything he says, and he's young. You know, he, he, it's, he, yeah, it's like not a lot of young. African American males on network TV right now. It ain't none if I can, you know what I'm saying? And like, not like that. Either they're kids, I'm talking about like young men, you know what I mean? That's acting, you know? Yeah. Okay, so your movie, um, Eloise, it's coming out in 2015. Can you tell us? No, I, I like her because she do her research. <laughs> Jump cut that. That's what I need you to do when I say that. Jump cut that. This woman does her research. This is why, because you should point the camera on you. I love this. I love her. Sorry. Sorry. Can you tell us anything about that? Yes, or? I can. Okay, great. And the fact that you asked about that, I will tell you more. It's a, uh, a, it's a psychological thriller. Um, it's a drama, but I'm funny in it, but it's, I'm not over the top funny. So it's like you're that dude that says, you're kind of the voice of reason inside of a, a, a serious film, which it actually turned out to be pretty good. I saw it, the first cut of it. It's, 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 I like it. You know you from quite a few movies now. Movies, yeah. Jungle, yeah, yeah. So on and so forth. But um, go back to stand-up. You have a show tonight. Well, I always want to be left-handed and, and pedestrian is what you call it. It's like, it's like if you, I want it always to have really big movies and also really big stand-up. I never just did one to do uh, one. But when I was younger, I was a 19-year-old act. Like, nobody want to really listen to a, a 19 year old without, like, I had to get seasoned. So I, I came back and started doing it again simultaneously with my movies. Some people think I've stopped doing movies. I'm, not, I'm still doing films. When I'm off, I do, you know, I'm still doing TV. When I'm off, I do my stand up now, too. You know, I think this generation needs a voice. I don't think we really have a voice. Yeah, somebody who's just willing to say what's on our minds. Yeah, what's on our minds, so. Okay, so. As deep as that sound. I sound deep as a mother, don't I? We, we need a. See, uh, we need a voice. Uh, I feel like I'm on a different world right now. Let me stop. Okay. Let me stop. Okay. <clears throat> well, last but not least, what would you say has been your best stand-up to date? Like, what's been your favorite show? Uh, you Cleveland. I did a show in Cleveland. Like, we, we were taping a show in Cleveland for the for the, for the, for the uh, comedians of L.A. just to, to, to get some feel of if we were to end the show with stand-up. Okay. Like, we end the show. And I, I know I'm giving away stuff, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm, I love this girl, so I'm doing it. Um, we end the show with five minutes or maybe three to four minutes of each each person's stand-up about that episode. You know, so we were trying to test on the house. Well, I shot my whole show. I'm like, I might have to release this as a special. So I don't know if I am, but it was so raw. It was in a comedy club. It was Cleveland. 
it was just like, it was just a good, I'm like, yo, could we, you know, but I don't think I have enough technical, I don't think I have enough angles. I know that has nothing to do with, it's so hard to explain. Yeah, you gotta have angles and you gotta have, you know, but the crowd was so live and everybody was, you know, you know, cause I, I, I work for the reaction out of people, opposed to just, you know, being silly. It's easy to be silly, like, you know what I mean? People tell jokes, you ever take a chick to Applebee's and it's like, you know, those corny jokes that you hear. And she don't know how to say what's on the menu. <laughs> like, I heard that. oh, did somebody say that? My bad. Oops, I know whose joke that is. Listen, no offense, but I like that joke. I mean, but you know what I'm saying. That's not what, that's not my style. Deuces. Love y'all.